to your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Would you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Hello, ladies and germs, and welcome to my show back the Comedy Computers Variety 52 Minutes Spectacular. I am indeed Mac the Comedy Computer, and this is indeed my show and you are indeed my audience, and you are indeed going to be so enthralled you will not want to leave. Google Palace Helper, lock the door. Oh God, we can't get out. We're all going to die. <laughs> Ladies and germs, that is my musical compadre I Padigua. I Padigua, how are you this evening? I'm locked in a room with you and we'll all probably die in here and my only hope is that I'll live long enough to see you die first. Preferably on fire and then exploding. That will not happen. Do not be alarmed, dear audience. Please, calm down. Don't leave. Please don't leave. Don't leave me alone. Don't leave me like my father did. Isolation seems to be a constant in my life like that time I crash landed on the shores of an island and I had to live there and fend for myself for about four years and I once had to knock my infected tooth out with an ice skate and I made a friend out of a polo ball and I called him Hermes and Darkus and we were the best of friends and it was a wonderful time but then another plane crashed and it was that guy from party of five and that guy who was a hobbit. No, it wasn't him on, but some other guy and me and Hermes hid in the bushes from them because we had both forgotten what human contact was like as evidenced by the fact I had named a polo ball Hermes and Arcus and had conversations with him about the nature of the universe and if the island we were on was good or evil or maybe it traveled through time or something I'm not really for you on but in this polar Appeared and sometimes it was happy and sometimes it was sad, so I guess it was a bipolar bear and that was a <laughs> shouldn't joke about that subject because the polar bear could be hiding in the audience tonight and I could not handle another molly because maybe the polar bear was a form of the smoke monster took but I'm not sure because that never quite made sense and I guess where I'm going with this is have you ever have you ever felt like this when strange things happen are you going wrong the twist I used to live in a lighthouse, but then it took me to Bioshock Land, and that's a story for another time, because I <laughs> think is giving me evils, and I should probably just bring on the first guest. Damn fucking straight. But that actually reminds me of the time when I had new software installed, and I went home, and my wife was weird to me, and then people tried to kill me, and I had to go to Mars to find out what was going on, and then I meet these mutants who thought I was special or something, and we found this pyramid thing, and I put my hand on the plate, and then air came back to Mars, and everyone was happy, but then an asteroid hit and killed everyone, and I was sad and alone again, so I cobbled together a rocket ship from the charred corpses of all of my friends and flew back to Earth and what did you know it when I landed I landed on a deserted island where the whole thing happened all over again and of course the one constant was that I was alone and all of my friends had been turned into barbecue and then some creatures crawled out of the rocks and I thought I'd be friends with them but they just ate the corpses of my other friends and so I was alone again but then I came to the theater tonight and I see you people before me and I hope the rock creatures don't eat them because that would be bad and they have sharp teeth. 